Okay, so let us look at a few examples involving the use of ratio. The first example, the length and breadth of a rectangular field are 50 meter and 15 meter respectively. Find the ratio of the length to the breadth of the field. So let us quickly make a rectangle. So we have a rectangle they are not straight lines but I hope you get the idea that we are talking about a rectangle over here so the length of this rectangle is 50 meters and the breadth is 15 and we are interested in finding the ratio of the length length to breadth length is to breadth that is what we want to find out so we can say that the ratio would be equal to so in this case length is 50 meters and breadth is 15 so we have 50 by 15 now I want to reduce this to its simplest form well put simply if I want to straight away write the ratio I can write it as the ratio is going to be 50 is to 15 this is simply the ratio but we reduce it to a simple form so in order to do that what we'll do is we'll divide numerator and denominator by a number such that we lead to the very small numbers the least numbers we cannot divide it any further so if I observe this I can see that if we divide 50 and 15 by 5 what what happens so 50 divided by 5 that is the numerator is divided by 5 and denominator which is 15 is also divided by 5 so 50 divided by 5 gives me 10 whereas 15 divided by 5 gives me 3 so the ratio expressed in its simplest form or the lowest term is 10 is to 3 so the ratio of length is to breadth breadth is 10 is to 3. Let us look at another example. Find the ratio of 90 centimeter to 1.5 meter. Okay, so we have to find the ratio of two numbers. However, the number 1 is in 90 centimeter, is in centimeters, and the other one is in meters. And if you remember, to find the ratio we must have both the numerator that is the numerator and denominator dr must be in same units this is one of the important idea that we discussed so the numerator in our case is 90 centimeter and denominator is 1.5 meters so I want to convert that into centimeters so that we have both of them in the same units so what we do is 1.1.5 multiplied by 100 centimeter because that is since 1 meter equals 100 centimeter so this is equal to 100 and 50 centimeter now the ratio is simply the numerator is to denominator which is equal to 90 by 150 or we have to simplify it further right so what 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 can be divided by so we can divide both the numerator and denominator by 30 to simplify it so we have 90 divided by 30 that is for the numerator and for denominator 150 divided by 30 so what do we get here is 90 by 30 gives me 3 and 150 by 30 gives me 5 or the ratio comes out to be 3 is to 5 so in this example we took the ratio of two quantities having different units we converted another quantity which was 1.5 meter into 150 centimeter and then we took the ratio so in the next video we will continue 
and look at several examples of ratio.